Hello my collective. This is a collective read for everyone. This is just a general read. Um this may not resonate for everyone. Take what with take from it what um belongs in your life. If it doesn't fit, don't make it. If it if it don't fit, then you must acquit, okay? Just don't allow anything to resonate if it doesn't resonate. Also, you can go to my online shop thebuyyouwitchshop.com to purchase any of your spiritual items, any spiritual needs. You know, I have everything for you. Whether you need um, candles, oils. Actually, I'm getting ready to hand make some more candles and they will be restocked as well as oils. Um, I also have spiritual apparel, shoes, jewelry, all kinds of things. If you like dark fashion, cute, you know, trendy stuff, then that is the place for you. The link will be below. Please go check it out. All right, so for your overall energy, we have the Ace of Earth, which is also Earth, you know, can resonate for Earth signs or Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, but I'm not seeing it like that. I'm just seeing it as, I feel like some of you guys need to, as soon as I pulled this card, I felt the need to tell some of you guys that you are being called to ground yourself with the earth. I feel like some of you guys are stressed out in this present moment. Some of you guys are worried about, you know, um, things going in your favor, whether it be. I don't really get that this is, um, for some of you guys, it could be pertaining to love. But I just feel the need to tell you guys to ground yourself with the earth during this time. I feel like this is a very powerful year, very powerful for manifestation. Um, this is the year, what I like to call the year of um, karma. Now, whether that's good or bad karma, this year, a lot of things are being willed in very quickly. So if you have any thoughts, make sure they're positive. If you have any manifestations, please stand firm in that, okay? Because I'm telling you guys, this is the year that whatever you put out, you're going to get it right back, okay? So we have, it's been clarified with the star, the four of wands, the ace of cups. I do feel like, thankfully, you know, luckily, a lot of you guys are on the right side. You guys are on the right track. Um, I do feel like the earth is getting ready to um, give you back what you deserve, everything that you've been pouring out in return. I'm also wanting to tell people, I feel like Mother Earth is also wanting you guys to know, do not do any littering, do not trash the earth because that's all that also the earth is awake okay for me god is the universe okay the universe is awake the universe is here giving us the oxygen we need the sunlight the food everything that we utilize in our day-to-day -day life the universe is giving it to us okay so make sure you're taking care of the earth the way the earth is taking care of you okay so if you're out here dumping trash and just trashing up the earth what do you think is going to harvest inside of your life you're going to get a lot of trash filth it's going to show up in the form of people the form of just situations neighbors your home everything okay people don't always think of it that way but when you trash the earth literally that trash is going to make its way back into your life okay so make sure you're being good to the earth um i'm probably gonna go out today and just go walk around i like to take my shoes off and just like ever since i was a kid you know here in the south that's a big thing that we do we like to walk around barefoot okay and that's something that i still utilize to this day at that time i didn't know i was grounding myself because I've, I've suffered from anxiety since i was a kid but no matter how many like medications for exact no matter what we do no matter what we take you know getting out there and being one with nature is the best medicine the best healing medicine okay um also you know a few years i want to say a few years ago i found out that i do have native american ancestry in my i've always known it because my grandmas have always told us and um i've seen them you know um on, on both sides i mean you can tell when you look at my relatives but to see it on paper, to actually have your ancestry done and to see it, I've wanted to, I bought some land that was native land, Choctaw land. And um, it's just making me want to learn more about the, those traditions and the way they did things and just the way they still do things today. And in Native American culture, um, the earth is their altar. They, they literally worship the earth, okay? 
And it's why so many Native Americans are so peaceful. Even if they don't have the most of anything, they still are so peaceful in the way they communicate and the way they just go about their day to day. Okay. So I feel like I'm, I'm starting to take on a lot of those practices as well. A lot of, we're all, cause I mean, I'm from Louisiana and a lot, part of native culture like here is very big too, spiritually. And so a lot of those practices I've always utilized, but I'm starting to, to tap deeper into that because, you know, when my brother was alive, he said, um, he had told my sister one day that when I came to visit him at the hospital, that I had four spirits that were with me. And he said one of the spirits that he saw that were looked to be Native American, he, he was a guy with a plaid shirt on with long hair. And he said, because my little brother, he was something else. He was giving me a hard time because I was always the sibling that pushed him and told him, like, you need to do right. You need to eat right. And so he, him being young, he would fight with me and just, you know, didn't like to see me coming sometimes because he felt like I was just so hard on him. But um, he said that uh, I guess one of the spirits that were with me came into his bed. Like my brother, he like, and I never knew why he was pulling his covers over his head whenever he saw me. <laughs> and so my sister recently told me this. And he said one of the, he put the covers over his head and then he took the covers off. And he said one of the spirits, the Native American spirit came up to him and said, um, what you going to do or something he said, he said to him. And my little brother was like, <laughs> nothing or something he said. I don't, I can't remember word for word what my sister said, but he put the covers back over his head. And I guess I had went out for, stepped out for a moment to go get him something to eat or something I did. And he said all four of the spirits, like, I think it was two ladies. He didn't say what the, 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 the fourth one was, but part of me kind of feel like it could have been like my deceased because I was pregnant, my deceased child. I don't know for a fact, but um he remember vivid he he explained vividly how one of the spirits looked which was the native american spirit and he said as i was leaving um the spirits all walked behind me and left out with me and then when i came back they came back and they were just sitting in the room you know following me everywhere i went and i told my spirit i, my, I told my sister i said you know because some things i tell to my my siblings and relatives they look at me like i'm crazy when i start getting into my spiritual talking and talking about the ancestors and sp how they spiritually protect you and stuff like that so the fact that my little brother who's a pisces like me was able to actually see that for himself that day. And my sister said he told the doctors, the nurses, he told everybody, he didn't tell me this, but he told everybody else. And my little brother, he's very like, he's not really, even though he was a Pisces like me, he wasn't really into all of that spiritual stuff. You know what I'm saying? So for him to say that, we knew for a fact it was the truth. And I wasn't shocked. I, I kind of got emotional when my sister told me the story. You know, because I always knew that I was, I'm spiritually protected. I always feel, I and mean, I'm pretty sure they're standing right behind me. Y'all just can't see them. I'm pretty sure they're right here in this video as well. But I always snapshot pictures of them, like whenever I'm like taking pictures and I'll notice something. But I always hear y'all. If y'all have followed me, the Bayou Witch, for the last few years, this is nothing new. I I have spiritual like spirits around me since I was a kid. It's nothing new. OK, but the fact that my little brother told my sister this and, um, you know, we he actually saw one of our native our Native American ancestors that was with me. You know, it made me feel good. It made me feel like, you know, I want to tap into my ancestry even more and learn more about it and connect with it even more. So anyway. Um, so with you guys having a star, the four of wands and the ace of cups, I feel like you, you guys with this four of wands, for some reason, that's what I'm feeling. Like you guys have a strong foundation that's surrounding you. Okay. And I feel like that foundation, because you guys are highly spiritual too. And you have the star here. You guys are very, the universe is connecting with you. Okay. The universe is connecting with you guys on a very high vibration. Okay. And because of that, you guys are getting ready to tap into a new life. Okay. I feel a lot of abundance a lot of like some of you guys are going to be getting the meaning the love of your life some of you guys are going to be getting new homes some of you guys are going to be very prosperous um very abundant some of you guys also what i'm seeing with this ace of cups this is, reminds me of a pregnant belly um some of you guys are going to be uh celebrating a pregnancy soon um so congratulations before that happens or if for some of you are already kind of far along congratulations to you as well you will have a a, a very um uh healthy delivery but um 
at this time, the universe is calling upon all of us and it's telling us it's time for us to give back to the earth in, in beautiful ways. Because, you know, with everything that's happening with the ozone layer and all of this stuff, we don't recognize the damage that we're doing to Mother Earth. And we need to tap in to ourselves because we are a part of the earth, too. OK, if the earth does not survive, neither do we. OK, so. The earth is calling all of us back right now, okay? And the earth is wanting us all to tap in. You know, you can feel, if you guys tap into yourselves on a high level spiritually, if you could just listen, if you just get quiet and listen, you can feel the earth. You can feel the earth calling on you. You can feel the earth. You go, you'll know when the earth is in pain. You'll, you can, you'll know when the earth is happy. You'll know when the earth is sad, when the earth needs more, you know, um, attention with whatever, you know, all of our callings are different. So we all can contribute to the earth in different ways that can help the earth. So I'm just letting you guys know with this earth card that I pulled, the earth is calling you because the earth wants our attention. The more you give to the earth, the more you, that's also manifestation. That's, that's, if you want to call it spell work, whatever. But when you tap, when you pour into the universe in healthy ways, it can be the smallest things. Like when I, when I go to the graveyards, I'm picking stuff up. Like I'm cleaning people's graveyards because that is my way of not only giving back to the ancestors and the deceased, but that's also my way of giving back to the earth, to the universe as well. And that's the reason why I'm so blessed. I'm always blessed. Um, even when I get down to my lowest penny, like my lowest cent, the universe always comes back in and gives me more because I do my part and I don't look, do things to get something in return. I do it because I honestly care about the earth. I care about human humanity. I care about, you know, the ones, the generation that comes, that's going to come way after us. Okay. So with that being said, you guys. Do something today. Go outdoors. Do something today, even if it's the smallest thing. Give back to the universe and watch it give back to you, okay? I hope you guys received this message, and um, yeah. Thank you, and uh, I'll see you guys in another one.